Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do with phrases that you create in Illustrator if you want to bring them into a cutting program such as Design Space or Silhouette Studio or whatever you're using. Here I've used the Desire font to create this text, which is live text at this time. I can make changes in here to the actual text. Uh, let's say here I type in choose rather than convert. Let me go back to convert and I'm going to show you what I did to choose this T. I highlight it and then I look over here in the glyphs, the different characters, scroll down to where the T's are and I had chosen, let's see, don't remember which one that was exactly now. I'm going to use this one. Let's change this S. It's a lowercase s, so I need to go a little bit further down. And I'm going to make it this one. Nope, I don't like that one at the end. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, so there's my text. And this is live text right now. So before I can use it in any type of cutting program, I need to convert this to outlines. But before I do that, when you look at the O here, it's got a whole bunch of beautiful swirls, but they're very thin. So if you wanted to use that with vinyl or cutting out with any material, actually, it'd be awfully thin to do the way it is right now. I'm going to select my letter and I'm going to go over here to my stroke and I'm going to choose black instead of none. And I can change the stroke weight now going to make it a little bit thicker. So you see how that got thicker? I'm going to undo, I'm going to go back to what it was. It was one point, so I've gone up to two points and I can go up a little bit more if I want. That just makes it easier to cut. Notice though, however, that the base of the O is also thickened. So maybe you don't want it quite that thick. I'm going to go to two. It doesn't look too different from the rest of it then. Or I could do the same to all of the text here. I uh, make it a two and then it all matches or even thicker, whatever you like. So once this is done, I'm going to click my selection tool, the black one, not the white one, because this one is the direct selection tool. You want to click this one and go up to the type menu and I'm going to create outlines and that has now converted this to curves or outlines it's a vector object now. It's a graphic object. And if you were to go to view outline, then you'll see what the outline looks like. And these are called paths. This is no longer editable text. Those paths are what will be converted into, into cutting lines in your cutting software. When you're in outline mode, you'll see that these lines are overlapping. So I'm going to just zoom in. And to do that, I'm pressing Command and the plus key. So if you look in at this area over here, see how these lines go over the T? What's going to happen is wherever you have a line, that is going to be a cutting line. So that's going to cut into your T. So you need to weld all of this. So the way that you do that in Illustrator, is you select your image, click Window, choose Pathfinder, and click Unite. It's the first icon on the top left. Once that's done, we'll zoom in again and you'll see how different this looks. You see now those lines are not there anymore. That's all been welded together. And you won't have that problem. Zoom back out. So once you've done that, then you're going to go to the File menu. You're going to choose Save As. I'm saving it as Outlines.svg. You see a whole bunch of options here. You don't need to worry about any of that. Just click OK and your file is saved. Now when I go to Design Space, I'm going to Upload Images. I'm going to choose Vector Upload because this is an SVG file. I'm going to browse for it. 
choose my outlines file. I'll click open and here's my file. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to click save. And on this screen, I'm going to select it so I can put it on my screen. And there it is. And it has preserved the size that I created it in, but I can always change that. I can stretch it out or shrink it, or I can change the values in the edit panel to do what I want. Okay, so then when I click go, some of this is breaking up and I'm going to show you the reason for that. It's because although I have welded my pieces, all of the parts here are together because they're touching, but the T and the O were not touching for them to be welded. They're actually separate elements. So what you need to do is you need to choose your t the uh, phrase, go into the layers panel and click attach. Then when you click go, everything will be fine. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.